to the channel then and uh, yeah welcome back to the start of my next in session vlog now uh, yeah you join me somewhere uh, pretty special um, somewhere I've never set foot on set eyes on or ever visited before but you join me down at Swan Valley Lakes now uh, this place is incredible I've just spent the last I don't know two hours just walking around it trying to suss it out trying to find some fish the uh, sun has uh, made its way up in the sky and uh, it's left me with a nice beautiful start to the morning and with that after walking as I say for a good couple of hours I have found fish and a fair few fish in front of peg 35 now they're not very far out at all um, and they are just cruising in and around the sparse patchy weed and uh, yeah it's taken me that long to find them. I've been sitting in other likely looking swims for uh, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes here or there. But once I spotted these fish, I just could not get that barrow loaded quick enough. Now my session starts at 11, which uh, it nearly is that time. And uh, yeah, there is literally no one on this half of the lake. There is absolutely zero angling pressure other than what will be my lines. Um, it's on the back of the wind. Um, it's a very slight breeze and uh, yeah it's looking good for it they are not very far out at all you're talking 10 15 yards and as you can see that sun is beating in here as well which is making it uh yeah rather warm so i need to uh i need to get this hoodie off for a start get a cold drink um the barrel push was only short across the bridge so uh yeah that wasn't too um that wasn't too bad at all but uh, yeah, I'm itching to get some rods out. If you haven't yet seen this venue, get yourself over to uh, the Go Catch, Go Catch app and check it out. There are some mega, mega fish in here and uh, a good dozen fish at a minimum that would smash my current UK PB. So, uh, so yeah, um, I'm itching to get going. Um, can't can't wait to be honest. Really excited to get some uh, get some rods out. Keep it really, really simple. Get a bushwhacker out, drop some rigs out and some bait really quietly. My style of angling in this venue is uh, yeah, right up my street. So uh, yeah, let's talk in. Let's get some uh, let's get some rods sorted and uh, yeah, come on the carp, Swan Valley Lakes, Lesby Avenue.
thoughts are out. It's a good um, three hours or so now since uh, yeah I chose my swim for this session. Um, I've got the rods out, didn't rush at all. Um, it took me the best part of an hour to get all three rods out. The wind has just been like swinging around here, there and everywhere, making it the very short distance that I had to bushwhack her out, um, making it very bloody tricky, to be honest. But all three rods went out um, and found some really, really nice clean spots amongst the weed. I'll stick some of the uh, scan examples up on the screen now of, uh, yeah, just shipping the bushwhacker out and just letting it drift around until I can find those uh, those clean spots and um, each of the three rods have gone out absolutely bang on so uh, they are down there on the sticks I've kind of spread them out really I've just got like one two and three just kind of um, really really short not far at all maybe 15 20 yards at an absolute push um, but yeah, as I said, they've all gone down nicely. They've all gone down with a uh, generous serving of uh, pellet boilies, squash boilies, crumb boilies, whole boilies, 12 millers. So uh, yeah, three traps are set. Home is also set up as well. And I've just been taking in this uh, absolutely stunning view that I've got in front of me, watching fish just cruise in and out around this area as and when the sun uh, makes an appearance from behind the clouds so yeah it's an absolutely stunning stunning venue um, as I say I walked it for a good two and a half hours this morning um, trying to find the fish and they were around on this half basking in the sun there's just three or four fish about to go over underneath that coot right now which will probably spook when he sticks his head under and sees those four fish but uh, yes, I'm feeling so, so confident of a, of a bite. Um, maybe as the sort of light levels dip this evening or first thing in the morning. Um, as long as the fish stay out, there, isn't, there is definitely a chance of a bite. It's uh, around six foot on the spots as well. So um, a nice depth, really, really nice and clean. So on a couple of pop-ups on one and then uh, a wafter on the other one. Um, just to see you know if they fancy one over the other don't really know what they like in here so yeah it's a bit of a suck it in sea type session really 24 hours is hard to really um you know suss out a venue at all really in 24 hours but uh you've got to be on the fish which i am found three clean spots amongst the weed and uh yeah that's all i can do as long as the fish stay here i've got three traps set and uh it's just keeping everything crossed that um, yeah, that they come across one of them. The wind is uh, picking up. Not that this is a massive expanse of water or anything like that, but uh, it's breezy, although it's warm. The fish don't seem to mind. Let's see if we can nick ourselves a Swan Valley fish. Well, time is ticking on and the day has been uneventful so far so I am going to quickly uh, have the rods in redo them for the night now uh, what one two three four five other anglers have now joined me on this half of the lake uh, which is yeah started to uh, see my confidence um, slowly disappear there's been a lot of commotion in the last hour in this half of the lake um, and yeah, with every splosh of a lead or a spom, uh, I'm, like I say, starting to feel more, less and less confident of anything now happening. Um, you know, this half is, uh, I don't know, probably a third of the size of the other half, I don't know, but it's drastically smaller. Um, there was a load of fish in here earlier, obviously with, uh, the weed and the sun beating down here, um, that it was crawling with fish um, so I generally don't know now how many are still here with the sheer amount of uh, yeah disturbance in the last sort of hour hour and a half with people turning up so I can only hope that they uh, come back if they aren't still here uh, through the hours of darkness or maybe in the morning 
when uh, everything else is obviously settled down but um, I'd be very surprised if uh, yeah, many of those fish that were here are still here anymore but that is just what it is on day tickets you know um, people turn up at all different times throughout the day night whatever you know so you can't control that you can only do as much as you can in your favor um, so I'm gonna have the rods in as I say ship them back out nice and discreetly on the money with the bushwhacker and the deeper again and uh, with another fresh spoonful of bait as well and in the meantime I'm going to uh, switch it up to three uh, three wafter rigs so I'm just going to go with pink yellow and nut on the uh, on the rigs itself they're just uh, probably about seven inches um, semi stiff material I've checked them out in the edge they drop absolutely lovely hook will lay flush on the lake bed that will just sit up uh, just flush above the uh, shank of the hook sit pretty waiting for Mr Carp to come along and suck it up but uh, yeah got three spots three fresh rigs yellow seafood pink seafood and a nut 365 wafter um, going out with like I say a nice spoonful of bait and I'm just gonna have to sit put sit tight and hope those fish reappear um, either through dark as I said or in the morning so let's get these sorted that wind's died off now it's gonna make getting these baits out a lot easier in comparison to earlier with that wind swinging around and then uh, yeah get myself some tea on the go watch the uh, sun go down and hope they give themselves away and uh, yeah, show me and tell me that they're still in my water. really really quiet night we had a little uh, short sharp downpour uh, which didn't really last very long um, even though that wasn't really on the forecast um, heard a few boshes around to my left hand side last night as well about half nine quarter to ten this morning I've heard them up the right hand side a couple of decent ones as well it sounded like around sort of five half five so they've been either side of me but just not, uh, yeah, just not on me it seems. Now um, I've got a good few hours left yet, so you never know, it still could happen. Daylight is just, is just breaking really. A um, bit more overcast today though, in comparison to yesterday. Obviously yesterday they were in here because it was flat calm. Um, the sun was beating in here. They were making the most of just being on that, on that sun, up in the layers, in the warmth. Whereas, uh, yeah, this morning it's going to be a lot more cloudier um, and probably not, probably not the same sort of temperatures as it was yesterday. So, don't know if they're still here. Um, don't know if they'll turn up. Um, if they aren't here, I'm just going to have to, uh, yeah, sit it out for the next few hours really, and uh, and hope I can just uh, nab a bite. I sort of want just one fish. Um, don't care how big or small it is. Just a uh, just a bite for the effort that I put in yesterday to get these rods bang on so uh yeah not really much else to say other than i'm going to get this coffee down my neck um watch over the water not that i can really do much um you know my free spots are presentable um in and amongst the weed um and yeah i wouldn't go moving them um anyway so i'm just hoping that one or two fish maybe just drift through and get their uh get their heads down on one of the three spots that i found and uh, yeah, I can nick myself a bite for this video. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated over the next few hours. But yeah, quiet night. We'll see, uh, we'll see what the next few hours has in store. Coming in 
into the last half an hour of the session and unfortunately it just hasn't happened. The fish have turned back up though. Um, there have been signs of fish cruising in and out. Um, they've given themselves away a couple of times and uh, they've also been fizzing out a bit, fizzing up a bit as well. So there are definitely uh, one or two fish in here, in and around this water, but they definitely seem more uh, comfortable in and around the weed than they are uh, sort of getting their heads down on any of the bait. As you can see, everything's packed up, all bar the rods, they will remain out until literally 10.59. Um, I'm just gonna milk every single minute as you can expect, because there's always a chance whilst the rods are in the water, so they'll be staying out to the very bitter end. But uh, yeah, if you've watched the video, thanks for watching. Um, I knew it was gonna be tricky anyway on this lake. It's not one just to uh, give up its gems easily. But uh, yeah, it was nice to come down, have a proper walk of the, walk of the lake like I did yesterday um, for a good couple of hours to uh yeah get my bearings and just have a look at it because i'm definitely going to be coming back down here it is uh yeah right up my street definitely my kind of water um but for this session it just wasn't to be so as always um like the video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment get involved in any of my social media it's nice to hear from you guys but for now from swan valley lake we will wrap it up there half an hour fingers crossed i can just nick nick a bite before i disappear but if not i'll catch up with you next time i am out on the bank